Well, for years, African American cemeteries around the Commonwealth and the country have suffered abuse and neglect, while some have still yet to be found. John Hood is on your side tonight with new legislation that could help preserve that part of history. Ever since the Civil War, many African American burial sites have been left in disrepair, leaving many unable to pay the proper respects to their ancestors. But new legislation introduced by Congressman McEachin could help change all of that here in Richmond and around the country. It's the residue of, uh, of, of the racist uh, environment that this nation was founded on. But look, we're turning the page. Starting a new chapter in preserving all of history is what Congressman Donald McEachin calls the African American Burial Grounds Preservation Program. The new bipartisan legislation was introduced last week and if passed by the House and Senate would set aside $3 million each year until 2027 for the National Park Service to distribute grants to preserve and research black cemeteries. For areas like East End or Greenwood already here in the city of Richmond, in other areas of, of uh, where we find um, uh, African American burial grounds in need of preservation. The bill could also help areas like this one at the University of Richmond. What may look just like a park is actually a former burial ground for those enslaved by a former landowner. Temporary signs now mark this sacred spot at U of R as the university looks at creating a more permanent marker. According to the bill, because slaveholders controlled where slaves were buried, they were often laid to rest in confined remote areas, contributing to the reason why many were not maintained. And the things they worked on were critical to the foundation of this nation. It was based on race because the discrimination they faced was based on race. And there's no theory involved here, folks. It's fact. Um, so that's why we need to preserve this. We're not talking about critical race theory. We're talking about critical race facts. And Congressman McEachin says he hopes that bill will pass by the end of this year. On your side in Richmond, John Hood, NBC 12 News.